Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that little weird noise. Um, So, I've been using the cobble gen here. And I got a couple stacks of dust broke down. A couple stacks of sand, er, gravel, sand, and dusts. Um, I've been killing my mobs. I got a uh, level up on my hatchet. I think I got haste on it, so that's all well and cool. Ooh, spider eyes. Ooh, another witch. And glass bottles. Not as exciting. So, let's put you in here. You can go back up there. It's kind of just my mob drop chest right now. Or not chest, but storage area. And I kind of decided I've got tired of mining cobble by hand. And I've been doing it a lot longer than I needed to because I didn't look at my quest book. So if we look at the stone miner, and then we get ourselves a stone axe, I believe, right? Yes. We can also get some more stone. We can make ourselves a stone miner. Then what we can also make ourselves is a cobble gen, which we need some buckets, a stone miner, so we're gonna need the stone miner again so we might as well get some of you. I just decided to do this so that's why I'm not as prepared. Let's go with that, let's go with that, and let's get another one. cool beans and we have clay let's get ourselves a little bit more I got some dust um, let me do this I'll put you in here and I'll get some clay and then I'll break that clay And then I'll make this bucket. And we'll smelt it up. Shouldn't take us that long. Meanwhile, we can go get ourselves some, actually, get ourselves some water from there. And I have also been putting a little bit of cobblestone in here. I'm going to be working on a new lava gen facility very soon here so that will be fun I'm gonna basically do a area below my wood by about four or five levels and go from there oh so one of the buckets we got back so what let's do is put the stone miner we'll just put you right here for now. How's that sound? Nope, not right there. We're gonna put you right there. I'm gonna put that in there and it said we need a little bit of fuel so let's get ourselves two pieces of fuel and we need a pickaxe next Progressive Automation is one of those mods I haven't really played around with. But it seems like that's at least the basics for the, are what I'm going to be. Oh wait, the stone can not be mined. So what I need to do is, let's try. And I need a shovel. I might as well just grab all this and I don't want to waste my good one in there. Um, I'm going to need you so I can go like this and then I'm going to need to get a binding
wooden binding. And then I will need to get a couple of tool rods like this. Uh, oh wait, we cannot use them to make a tool, so we need to do that. And then what we do is this, 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 and then we do this, this, and do that, and do that. And it's going to make us cobblestone. And you can see the pick, the pick is basically being used to mine my cobblestone. So when I run low, I can just repair it. And this is a whole heck of a lot easier than the way I was doing it. See, two stacks of cobblestone just like that. And I can repair you and have him continue. Cool beans, cool beans. So let's take a look at the quest book now. And auto mining complete, half a heart, 16 cobble. Power drive, before you can go very far, you're gonna need some basic generation. And 40 RF a tick. Stone generator gets very hot. Better material should hold heat better. All right, so that's stone generator, something that we're gonna need. Um, block redstone RF engine. So I need two blocks of redstone, which means I need a bunch more dust, because I don't even have enough. I have enough for one, but that's all. And then let's take a look at what other quests we have done. Uh, better storage, claim reward. Um, I already did that one. I need to do those two next. Water sources, brick well. How does one craft a brick well? Okay. We'll take care of that later. Put you away for now. And then, Mob Hunter, I get two spawn blizz, interesting, um, half a heart or a reward bag, I'll pick a reward bag, and I'll put you away, and you away, and then I'll come back to learning the skyblock because I need the lumberjack, stone chopper, so a stone chopper is from progressive automation. Do, 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 do. All right, so we can do this and do this, and we need to get a furnace and make ourselves a stone chopper. Now, one other thing that we're going to want to make from progressive automation is. the stone upgrade. Um, this is basically gonna chop us down our wood and what happens is the chopper will go I think starting in an eastwardly direction around it. Um, ooh, that's fast, I like that. This haste is really nice. Basically, I want to make it so that that way I don't have to keep chopping down trees. So, we're going to sacrifice a... Do I want to sacrifice the redstone yet? Let me take a look at the quest book. Oh. Claim my reward. That'll be good. <laughs> Another quest. First, I have to get to the other dimension. Another rack. How do I craft another rack? 
I think it's in a stone barrel of lava, a piece of redstone. So what I should probably do is start expanding my base out underneath. And what I could do is probably grab another stack of cobblestone. Because I'm going to make my uh, basement out of cobblestone. I don't care if it looks pretty. This mod doesn't have chisel in, in it. So yeah, tough, tough luck. So what I'm going to need is a lot of cobblestone slabs. So I'll be back in a bit, and let's first take a look at the quest book. Nothing that I want to complete in there at the moment. Can't do anything right there. I could make a smeltery. That would probably be a good bet. Uh, let me get ready with some stuff, and I will be back. Because first what I'll just do is this. And I will do this. And then I will come here. I'll make myself a flint axe head. And I'll make myself a tool rod. And then I will make a flint hatchet. And since I don't remember what side it works on, I'll just make sure that all the sides currently pointed to work. So this will only harvest one, and it'll output its stuff right there, which will be okay. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's going to help like take care of this junk up here too. We'll see. Um, I could very easily test this theory. Where's my watering can? Why would it be in there? I don't even know. We'll just do these ones for now to see if it's one of these two. I wish that the hatchet was as quick on infested leaves as it was on normal leaves. I'm hoping that this will just clear up a little bit of room and help make it easier to spawn. Let's try it now. Not the one that I wanted, but we'll see if it works. <laughs> Probably should. Alright everybody, what's up? I'm back. Um, done a little bit of work afterwards. I extended my chopper a longer ways out. And what I did over here <coughs> was, sorry about that cough you guys. Um, there's a creeper up there which I really need to take care of. But let's come downstairs. His pathfinding won't let me go. There's the jaded. And I started to work out a area underneath for automation and stuff. So we're going to have like some smeltery stuff here. Actually, smeltery stuff is probably going to be in the middle right here. Kind of where this part is. We're going to have two smelteries. Um, yeah, and we'll get into more of that later. But then we're going to have a bunch of automation stuff over here. But one thing that I was going to do is I was wanting to automate resources. So if we look in X Astria, automatic sieve. 
which means electric, uh, electrum gears, silk mesh, which is fine enough, invar. Um, molten invar is one nickel to two iron, and electrum is one gold to one silver. So we're going to need to make a smeltery. So what I have in here are some seared bricks. And what we'll do is get a bunch of you. Okay, then. That was weird. I'm going to need a bunch more seared bricks. Um, but for now, since I have lava up here, maybe I'll just do a small smeltery up here before I work on... well actually I should just build it downstairs. Like I said, I'm gonna need a lot more seared bricks, but we'll see what we can work out at the moment. So what I want to do is... Five, one, two, three, four... Two, three, four, five, one, two. There we go. So that's in the very center, which means I want to do this and there's that. We'll do that, and we'll make a 9x9 nine nine smeltery. Definitely going to need to make some more seared brick. This is going to be my alloy smelter. Um, so what I mean by that is any... Because I want to do ore doubling, but I don't really want to use tinkers for it. Um, specifically for the fact that it's it'll lag out the game if we use tinkers for melting all of our items. The constant amount of liquid updates in the smeltery and all that, it causes some significant lag, so I'm not going to mess with it. Seared drain. And I'm going to need, do I have any? I gotta have some glass around here, right? I thought I had glass, or I guess I only have glass panes. Hmm. You know what, guys? I'll come back after I'm done with the smeltery and done with getting some stuff ready. How's that? Be back. All right, you guys. We are back. And, uh, hmm. Hold on one second. Sorry, I had to cough there. Wasn't expecting it. I moved my lava production downstairs and significantly upped my, uh, just upped my lava production. I'm gonna have four rows of nine. They're gonna be powered by one igneous extruder back here. And then from there, it's just going to be all well and good. So let us do this. Um, how do I want you? I got the tank back there, so that's fine. Um, let's do this first, though. Nope, can't do that. I was wondering if that would be possible or not. Um, but what we can do is right in front of here, and we'll just tidy up the way it looks. Okay, get you out of there, and then what we're going to do is do this, and make ourselves some seared glass, 
There we go. And I'm going to need one more set of bricks. To finish everything off. Cool. And then I'll just do that so there's no spots where mobs can spawn in there. I might change these to be seared bricks. We'll see though. Um, but what we can do is we can take a look at our quest book and we'll get a gear. Uh... Wow, I'm sorry about that, folks. Um, we're going to get the gear cast. And then the next time we need to make a casting table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a casting table. And I'm going to make a casting basin. Slimy slapping and aluminum brass. And it's going to get loud again, folks. Sorry about that. Protecting iron, slime ball, and then we need some copper. Um, so what we need to do is just start smelting some uh, some metals. So let's do you on this side, you on this side. Nope, don't want you there. There we go. Then let's go upstairs and in the quest book looks like we need copper and then we're going to be getting into an alloy, probably aluminum brass. So what we can do is copper, copper, and get ourselves nine copper. Kind of want to grab some tin too, but we'll be fine with doing this. And then how you use a smeltery is, there you go, and then these will all start melting. This will give point, or this will give 288 millibuckets, which is double one ingot, which is 144 millibuckets. So yeah, that'll be all well and good. We'll see how you guys are doing over here. You could probably use some more cobble. Oh yeah, you can use a lot more cobble. Just making lots of lava, because you always need lava. And then the uh, what we're going to also do is I'm going to have uh, the lava being pulled out in the middle of each, come around to here, and then go underneath the floor to wherever I need lava. So underneath to the seared tank is going to be one of the places. Um, there are plans. There are plans. And you are good. So now we have 18 ingots of copper, which is exactly what we wanted. We'll do you. And wait for it. See those little spurts? Those are, sp uh, that's some sinking and lag issues and whatnot, so we don't necessarily want that. Copper. Cool. And then bronze. Bronze is very simple. Molten bronze is three copper to one tin. So what we can do is we got the three copper, but since it's going to make two, tin, 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 tin. Do I really not have tin? There we go. One tin. This is why I need to get this automated. The first one I'm just going to do gravel. And then I'll do the rest on a stream. Um, so I'll do it on camera, and then I'll do a stream, and then I'll finish off the episode. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then ten. Let's take a look at this now. These quests might be able to be automatically completed. I am not sure. Possibly. Um, but the slimy sapling, I should probably just... You know what? Let's try it. Don't know if that's going to work or not, but that's why we test things. 
It says all types of saplings, but I don't know if the Tinker's saplings have different mechanics or rules. We'll see. Molten bronze. So what I can do is I can put one aluminum brass in here. I can put any old ingot in here. Uh, okay. Oh, right. That's going to automatically do that. Because we only have eight ingots in here, we don't have enough for a full block. Because these are blocks. They take nine ingots. So 144 times whatever. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to take that aluminum brass and pour it over an ingot. Ca or over an ingot. Destroys the ingot, but it gives us an ingot cast. So now what we can do is get ourselves a piece of of uh, bronze two pieces two more browns and then we need steel and we need gold so let me take care of some of these quests because they're going to be boring and I'll be all right, you guys, we're back. We're going to be finishing up with the air pretty soon. Um, so let's take a look. Get you. And let's get some silver. Take my iron back out and get you. So I'm just going to... Back here is going to kind of be a utility area. I'm not going to really see much of it. Um, this side's going to be kind of like my actual workshop side. Um, but like my automated processes and stuff like that will be all back here. So that'll be all nice and good. And then I think I need silver. I hope I need silver. And you are going to need to be... Claim Invar. Alright, so we need to now make obsidian, but I think I'm going to be done for the day, you guys. I hope you had a good one. Sorry for the awkward introduction at this video. I think I lost some footage. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I will see you later. Uh, try to tune in if you're going to see me stream because I'm going to be doing some automation.